So we came to the pediatrics for her ER. I haven't even explained, have I, that we went to the ER? I think I have. We went to the ER and this is like the follow up. We're at the pediatrics now. And they say it's normal, like it happens. So we're going home. But she was crying, so she vomited. And this Emesis. She emesis it. Are you ready, Anay? Do you think you're going to go to the house? With us. Can you see all those with us? With us. 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 And voila. Oh They're all crumbled up. It's so hot. It's like bad. Good morning guys. I just fucked my my eyebrows. So they're kinda red. You can definitely tell. Um I'm, we're going to junction today just to get out of the house. I feel like we haven't done anything in months. Um I haven't vlogged in a long time so I haven't had anything to post and going on so you guys know my daughter has been getting sick a lot um, she this was probably a few weeks ago maybe three almost a month ago I don't remember but um, she had a seizure I mean, she, um, I know you guys can't take me serious like this, but I gotta start the vlog. Um, she got a fever. It was at 103. Um, I was watching her the whole night. We didn't sleep at all. And in the morning, around 6 in the morning, 7, I was just looking at her for no, no reason. And she, her eyes went, like, rolled to the back of her head. And she starts seizing. <laughs> that was the scariest thing, like, for me. Uh, ever. I, I know I look weird and funny, but this is the only way I can start the vlog. Um, so, yeah, she started seizing. And I got scared. I got super scared. I didn't know what to do. I started crying. I started crying and calling for my mom. And... My mom came in and she held her like she was holding my daughter. I know you're supposed to put her on her side, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that then, just so they don't choke on their uh, tongue. Um, it was scary. I, I was crying. I called my my mom was like, "Call your sister." I was like, I was looking for my phone. I was like, "Why?" She's like, "I don't know. Just call her." And so I called my sister and told her, and we took her to the ER. And my sister met us there. And doctors just go, like, okay, it's normal for kids to have febrile seizures. But you don't go up to a mom and say, oh, that's normal. Don't worry about it. And that made me mad. Like, I just saw my child seizing, and you come and tell me, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Like, you don't do that. That made me kind of mad. Um... But the thing is, she hasn't gotten better. She keeps getting, um, she keeps getting fevers, like up to 103, and that's bad. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a school. I don't know if she's teething. I don't know. I don't know, because I, I don't think it's teething just because she has, like, mucus, runny nose, coughing. Um, I, we can't figure it out. I took her to the ER again, because... Pretty sure she had a silent seizure, 
um, I was on my phone and all of a sudden you could just hear her struggling to breathe. I was like, she's making a weird noise. She was right beside me, guys. She sleeps with me. She's just going like, <sighs> like she was struggling to breathe. I can't make the noise. Cause I can't make the noise. But she was struggling to breathe and um, I look at her and she's staring like onto nothing. So I think she had just had silent seizure seizures. Silent seizures last for a few seconds. Um, so there's no way that I can tell if she did have a silent seizure or not. But she was struggling to breathe, which was my main concern. We went to the hospital. Again, they said, just give her Tylenol and Motrin. And, like, maybe it, it is a virus. But I got in a fight with that doctor. Because the pediatric told me... Uh, seizures are not are not caused by the fever they're caused by what they have inside like the infection or the virus and then this guy tells me it was just because of the fever oh I told her what like something about a seizure she's like that would just be because of the fever and then I was like well you're telling me one thing and then her pediatrics telling me another thing like what am I supposed to believe and he comes back like 30 minutes later and says I did my research. I was like, you're a doctor, like, you're supposed to know this, but whatever. <sighs> Our town hospital is known for to be a bad hospital, like ER hospital. So I'm no longer going to take her there if she needs to be there. I mean, if she needs an ER, she's not going to be going to my town's hospital, ER. Um, yeah. I am so angry. I don't know what's going on, but she hasn't been going to school because of Thanksgiving. I didn't vlog on Thanksgiving. I um, I started vlogging. I'm gonna take this off. I'm not funny. I did start vlogging one of the days. I got a new job. A lot has been going on. Like so much has been going on. I've been working. I have a new job. That's why I haven't vlogging. I haven't been vlogging either because I don't have time. I come home to feed my daughter and put her to bed. So, um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I started vlogging like my new morning routine now that I have a job. And so this was like at 6 in the morning and I come into my mom's room and she tells me, Good morning. Hola. Hola, Good morning. Hola. 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 Hola, Nina. I told her to say hi to the camera. She's saying hi to my sister. Be right back. Okay, now that I'm semi ready, I got some myself some curtains. We're going up. We're going places. I'm um, just kidding. But I did get curtains. I'm gonna do my daughter's hair. She's really upset. So. She's not upset that we're doing her hair. She's upset that she was with my mom and my mom. I grabbed her from my mom. Okay, let's try this, kid. Obviously, we're in a little, it's called, uh, like for trampolines, but then there's a spot for just running around.
don't know about you guys. No. But places like this give me claustrophobia. Yeah. She could care less. Mm-hmm.